Hey, welcome back, Fiat fans. So I'm with my buddy uh, George here, and he's got this nice little uh, Fiat 500 Abarth that's having an issue with the map sensor. So we're gonna get in there and replace that. Now the way the issue was manifesting itself was sort of interesting. He was of course getting a check engine light and the codes were P0107 and P0069, both relating to the map sensor. But what was a little odd was that also his hill assist and his traction control, ESC, would sometimes say that they were unavailable. Although it didn't actually give us that message this morning. Now it seems odd that a map sensor would affect the traction control in any sort of way, but apparently that's a common issue. All right, so the map sensor is actually located back down in here somewhere. George has a aftermarket intake on it, but still has the factory air box. So we got to pull the factory air box off. And that is relatively easy to do. We have to disconnect this uh, little intake hose right here. You got to pop this off. It's got three little clips on it. That pops off just like that. And then this guy just pops up. You know how to take oh, the you know screws what? off? No, because it comes off as a, as a whole unit. Hmm. Just like that. <laughs> and let's see, the map sensor is right in there, which you probably can't see because it's covered in wires and a little dark in there. The plug for it, you just push this little button right there on the connector and it pops right off. So you can see that the map sensor is held on by this torx screw right there. But of course we have all this stuff in the way. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to get down in there. Okay, so took the intake off to give me some more room and took the dipstick out as well because had to angle the, the torx driver down in there like this, right past the, uh, the dipstick. I also, loosened up this took the two bolts out of um whatever this is the this wiring loom was kind of in the way so i just needed to get a little more wiggle room so i took this off was able to push this down a little bit i took this bolt out it was a t25 torx just like the map sensor is going to be in order to move this bracket to have room to actually get to the map sensor. And another interesting thing I found about this, this bracket, this hose right here is clamped in, but there's like this little bitty little plastic switch on the, on the bracket itself. You lift up on that switch. Yeah. And then that little part of the bracket lifts up and you can pull this tube out and actually slide the bracket over. But now we can actually access that bolt for the uh, map sensor coming in this way. Okay, yeah, now you guys can see how I'm getting down in there to the screw on the map sensor. You're gonna want one of these little magnetic grabbers because you know the screw's gonna drop. There we go. Screws out. The map sensor just pulls right out of the intake. Just like that. A lot of times these things will just get dirty. That's what messes them up. That'd be full know. of oil. That's usually what happens to them is they get full of oil. <laughs> and here's the new one. Maybe you can read the, the Bosch part number there. I'll put it down below if you if you can't see it on the screen. But I know um, Mopar and the dealerships, they want like 200 something bucks for this thing. But you can get them for like 38, 40 bucks. And then it's just a simple matter of dropping the new one in. It kind of pops in because it's got an O-ring on there. All right, so now that the MAF is screwed in and just pop the connector back on, that's all there is to that. And of course the tricky part is putting all this stuff back together. Reiterate again, we took the intake tube off. I loosened up this little breakout box for the ignition. Made me able to wiggle this wire loom so I could get to the, the Torx bolt on this bracket. And I slid the bracket over a little bit by unclamping this hose right here. So now I gotta do all that in reverse. And we'll put everything back together. All right, check engine lights out now, so hopefully that's it. Woohoo! <laughs> cool. All right, I hope you guys found this helpful. Bye, thanks for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button.